I'm slightly late to the long anticipated Skyblock update that finally arrived, and let me say this is amazing. Quick announcement, this took me a while to research, script, record and compile, so subscribing and being part of the 7.8% would make you legendary and increases your chance of getting a billion coins by 53.87% sourced by Oxford. And if you enjoy and find this useful, then be sure to leave a like and comment. Thank you, and enjoy the video. The Dwarven Mines are something the forums have been non-stop talking about since a teaser in mid-December. Half of them were just throwing in guesses of the update, and others were just criticising the time it took to come out. Luckily for me, there was a third side to this fence. The people guessing what will happen, and preparing for it. In my case, I was getting my mining levels up, with the assumption it should and would play a huge role to play. This update is quite big, so this video will be a part of a couple of videos about the Dwarven Mines. And now that we are here, let me give you a quick in-depth knowledge on how to expand your Skyblock experience. Going to the Deep Caverns, you will find a new location to travel to at the lift operator called Dwarven Mines. To access this, you'd need to talk to Reese in the Obsidian Sanctuary and get the Heart of the Mountain. This is just 10 enchanted ores of each mining block. Once you do that, you can teleport there and proceed onwards. This place is where you mainly go for mining for mineral, and on the rare occasion, titanium. First, let's talk about how to get started. But to do so, you'd need a significant mining power as things like stocks just won't be good enough to help you through the mineral mines. So your boy Boo Boo right near spawn can give you a decent pickaxe for 10,000 coins. But wait, don't start mining yet dummy. Run over towards the royal palace and confront one of the seven kings. It changes relatively often so I couldn't tell you who's in charge at the time of this video. So if you speak to the king, then you'll get confronted with two commissions. These commissions range from mining things to killing mobs to participating in events. The good thing about finishing these commissions is that you get things like Heart of the Mountain XP, Mining XP, as well as Mithril Powder which I'll explain soon. Once you have done that, mine Mithril however much you want. While you do this, keep the amount of Mithril Powder in mind because those can help you upgrade your different skills like Mining Speed, Fortune, etc. in the Heart of the Mountain. There are at least two dozen new NPCs for this, with the first obvious one being Reese. He is a simple guide, just to help anyone confused and gives a brief rundown on the things throughout the mega update. Other NPCs at the Dwarven Village include Boo Boo the merchant that sells pickaxes with different properties as well as biofuel, Bolvar sells tier 12 minions, the good old blacksmith is amongst the NPCs, get or store money from Branko Broadjaw, Poggers old man Gary notifies things such as raffles and goblin raids, Fetcher makes you grab things for him, the lads at the pub, Grimly, Tarwin, Hornum, and Sargwin. They don't carry any purpose, but they are mates having fun and if you type in burp into chat after you've clicked on all of them, then they actually make you one of the boys. Gwendolyn is currently useless at the time of recording, but is said to carry a use in a later date. And then in the Royal Palace, you get multiple NPCs around a round table. Tenora is a dialogue NPC. And then you have all the different kings. Grandon, Bramor, Emcom, Emor, Thormir, Eren, Red Ross, and Queen Miss Miller, who is technically implied to be married to all of them. You only live once, so I guess you should make the most of it, and she's doing pretty well. In the Grand Library is the Puzzler. He gives you directions in which you should face him directly under where he is, and then move, taking the directions that he's given you. Once you've got to the end, mind under the spot that you've landed on and he should reward you with a thousand mithril powder. Useless NPCs include the residents and guards, including an 8 hour dialogue with one of the residents. In Rampart's Quarry and the Forge, Jotraline Great Forge is used when you have the drill. I don't have it yet so I can't really tell you much about this NPC. And the forges allow you to forge high value items which is unlocked at tier 2 half the mountain. To avoid this video being extra long, I will leave it here, and then part 2 will be right around the corner. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope that it's actually helped you quite a lot. If you enjoyed, then be sure to like and comment. If you want me to cover something, then be sure to comment a suggestion on what you are stuck on. 
If you want to see more, check out my other videos and be sure to subscribe for future videos. It's been your boy Pomegranate and I'll catch you guys later. Thank you.